This is from 1958, as you can see. Now, we're going to flip to Antarctica and see what the Encyclopedia Britannica from 1958 before the Antarctic Treaty says. When they returned to New Zealand, these flights proved the inland areas to be features of the character with a dome 13,000 feet high at about latitude 80 degrees south, longitude 90 degrees east. And not everybody can be a robot polisher. All of us troopers, flat earthers, know that the supposed Antarctica is nothing more than the ice wall. So if you're about a third over Antarctica, then this is where the dome comes down to uh, meet the ice. Somewhere uh, hundreds of miles off through the ice desert there, but somewhere right in here around 80 degrees latitude and 90 degrees longitude. This dome was about 13,000 foot above this ice wall. Ever wonder what those sparkly dots are up there? I don't wonder. I know. I don't wonder. I know. I don't wonder. I know. I know. You ever think about the symbol of Disney World? Disney World is under dome. a dome. And why does it matter? Why does that matter? Why does all this dome imagery matter? Walt Disney and Werner Von Braun were literally best friends. They worked together all the time. The Disney symbol is the world under a dome. Disney was best friends with the genius Nazi that we got from uh, Operation Paperclip. And it's a, he's the father of NASA. On his uh, tombstone is one biblical passage. The heavens declare the glory of God and the firmament showeth his handiwork. So let's recap. Disney's image is the world under a dome. Disney is best friends with Werner Von Braun. Von Braun, his only thing on his tombstone is Psalm 19.1, which says, it not only got it exists, but you can see his handiwork in the firmament. Well, coincidental that uh, the Antarctic Treaty of 1958 uh, bans anyone from going to Antarctica. The peninsula, they got some penguins, and they have a like a pole that says, "Oh, that's a." No, no, they admit pole. that no one's allowed to. Like, and I said, "I don't care if it's two million. They said no one will do it. Like yeah, they I, just I say, no one does out. it. I, let's do it. But process, since when have you heard? Because since when have gonna, you heard? You're gonna hit a brick We don't wall. want your money. You can't do it. People can only visit Antarctica if they have permission from the authorities. But what you got to ask yourself is, why do all the maps before 1958 show a flat earth with the ice wall around it and a firmament, a dome? And not to mention the fact that all ancient cultures depicted a flat earth with a dome over it, a firmament over it for thousands of years. And let's not forget that the Holy Bible depicts a flat earth with ice walls and a firmament, firmament being a dome. And why does the encyclopedia tell you that there's a dome there and it gives you the exact height at the certain latitude and longitude? Well, the reason is, is because in 1958, that's when all governments and all nations of the world signed the UN Treaty and all civilians from going to Antarctica. Again, ask yourself, if all this existed before 1958, why doesn't it exist now? How come it all of a sudden was erased and just disappeared out of your history books, out of your encyclopedias, out of your libraries? Wake up, people. Wake up. Not everybody can be a robot polisher. I like to be an explorer, like the Great Magellan. Oh, well, you're too late. There's really nothing left to explore.